These are the assembly instructions for my Halloween lantern. These are the side panels with the images in them. And I have two panels that have the same score lines on them, so I'm just folding down on all the score lines for both panels. So next, I'm going to flip my pieces over so that I'm looking at the interior of my lantern. And I have these four vellum rectangles. So I'm just going in with my glue, and I'm just putting a tiny amount of glue all over my image. and then all around the perimeter of my opening. And then I'm just applying my vellum to that opening and make sure it's within those score lines. And I'm gonna do that with all four of my openings. So next I have these embellishing pieces. You often see this technique referred to as braiding. So that's gonna go on those thin panels that are beside my images. So you've got that solid V at the bottom. I've kept it. So the solid V and then the next V up, you're folding it downwards and tucking it under the, got the thick triangle. Then you've got the thin one on top. You're folding the thin one down and tucking it under. You're gonna go along that whole panel, just folding down on that V and then tucking it under. Flip my piece over, so I'm putting a dot of glue just at the point of my V. So I'm threading it through the underside and, and gluing it to that top V. I'm going to flip my piece around, I'm going to put a dot of glue at the top of my V and then lay it flat on my panel to glue it down, like so. I'm doing that with all four of my panels. So next I'm going to glue these panels down. So I've got the thick piece at the bottom and the thin piece at the top. So I'm putting glue on the back of my braided piece and then I'm gluing it down between the score lines of that strip that's between the panels. So I'm gluing all four of them down. So the pieces with the slivers taken out of them at the top and the bottom are the tabs. So these do not belong on the tabs. They belong on those full pieces. So I'm just putting glue along the tab and then I'm gluing the cut edge of my panel right up to the score line of that tab. And then I'm going to flip my piece over. Looking at the inside, I'm putting glue all along that other tab. Again, gluing the cut edge of my panel right to the score line of the tab. So in the file you'll see three identical shapes in different sizes. So I'm going to be using the smallest one. I'm putting glue all along the tabs that are at the bottom. I'm folding them outwards temporarily, putting glue on them, and then folding them back towards the interior of my shape. And I'm doing that for the entire perimeter of my lantern. So now I'm flipping it over. I have all those tabs pointing towards the center. And then I'm just taking that shape and then lowering it into my lantern. The walls of my lantern have to follow the shape that I've just lowered into the bottom, like so. So next I have three pieces that are very, very similar. I'm going to take the smallest of those three pieces. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. Next I'm going to put glue on one of the long tabs, gluing it along the long side. So I want the cut edge to be right against the score line of the tab again. And then I'm going to go along and I'm going to put glue on the corner tab and the side tab. I'm just placing that inside my shape. I'm going in with my left hand and I'm applying pressure from the interior. I'm just putting glue all along the other tabs as well, tucking them inside my lantern and just going around and applying pressure, positioning that frame in place around the top edge of my lantern. I'm sneaking in with my bone folder and just spreading the glue a little bit. So next I have these two pieces that look like they're exactly the same. The big difference between them is one of them has a square in the center and the other one has a square that has like little rounded corners. So we're going to start just by folding down all the score lines on both of these shapes. So now that I've folded and burnished all the score lines, I'm going to take the one that has the rounded off corners. I'm putting glue on one of the tabs at the corner. I'm gluing the cut edge of my long side to the tab from the corner. And I'm going to do that on the tab that's on the other side as well. 
So that's one corner done. I'm going to work my way around the shape doing the exact same thing for all four corners. So next I'm going to flip my piece over and I'm going to put glue on one of the long tabs. And then I'm going to take one of those shapes. So this is there's three of these in the file. This is one of the larger ones. And I'm just adhering that long side, the long edge on my shape. And then I'm going to put glue on all the other tabs. I'm placing that panel so that it follows the shape of my frame. I want the edge of that piece to be flush with the sides of my frame. So now I'm going to flip my piece over. I'm just going under that lip and spreading all that glue. So next I have these two shapes. And again, I have a small one and a big one. I've already folded down all the score lines on the small one. I'm going to fold down the score lines on the big one as well. All right, so I'm going to take the smaller one of these two shapes. And I'm putting glue on that small tab that's on one side, folding that side over, folding that little flap over, and gluing the cut edge of this panel to the score line on my tab, like so. I'm pushing the tabs on either side inwards. And then I'm folding down one of the flaps. I'm putting glue all over that flap that I've just folded down. I'm folding down the flap that's across from it. The cut edge on both sides follows along the score line. I'm gonna do that on the other end as well. Folding that flap upwards, putting glue all over it, folding the remaining flap down. And I want them to be nice and flush on both sides. I'm just putting glue on one of the largest surfaces of my box and just gluing it down to the center of that shape that I've just assembled. If it's not exactly in the center, it's fine. It's just there for support. And then I'm putting glue all over the other side of that box. Flipped my lantern over, so I'm looking at the bottom. And I'm putting glue all along the perimeter. And then I'm doing my best to center it on my platform base. I've already folded down on all the score lines for these pieces. And they get assembled the exact same way as the pieces for the base. So I'm putting glue on those tabs to form my corners. I'm putting glue on one of those tabs for the long side and I'm taking another one of those shapes and that straight edge matches up with the score line that's on my tab and I'm going to put glue all along the rest of the tabs all along the perimeter just matching up my sides of my frame to the sides of my shape then I'm going to flip my piece around and again I'm going in with my bone folder and spreading all the glue on the tabs and then I have this box and this box goes together like the other one. I'm just putting glue along that side tab and laying it flat on my mat and folding that side piece over. And then I'm folding those tabs in. I'm folding that flap over. I'm putting glue all over that flap that I've just folded down. Folding that last flap over, making sure that the edges are all nice and flush. I'm going to do that on the other end as well. Folding that flap upwards, putting glue all over it, and then folding that flap down. Glue all over that square surface, and then just lowering my piece right into the cutout that's on my other piece, like so. So that square fits right into the top of my lantern. I was finding my lantern a little boring, so I've decided to add a topper. I'm just folding down on all the score lines for this large piece. And then I have this piece, now I've handwritten this one, but for in the file I'm going to put a T on one of the tabs. I'm just putting glue from the score line to the edge. You have the tab, you have a trapezoid shape, a second trapezoid shape, and that's where we're adhering that tab. Next I'm going underneath the piece, putting glue on the tab that's right next to it. I'm gluing that down. Easier to put your glue from the underside, so I'm just putting glue and then flipping my piece over. And I'm applying pressure, and pinching them right where they need to be. So I'm going around my shape and gluing down all my tabs. I have my seam here with my side tab here, and I'm going to glue those down before I glue these in. I'm putting glue along the tab. I'm gluing my tab into position. I'm going to go from the inside and add the glue on both remaining tabs and just glue them in. 
So now that this piece is assembled, I'm going to attach the base. I'm putting glue all along that tab and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm just gluing my piece along the score line and then I'm putting glue along all my tabs and then I'm folding my shape right onto those tabs. I'm making sure that that frame piece is following the edges of that dome shape. I decided to replicate the embellishing pieces so I did that braided technique again. I'm just going to glue these to the four rectangles on my dome. So I decided to add a hook on the top. I just keep building on this project. So I have five rings that are exactly the same and I'm just gluing them all together, stacking them up so that the edges are even. And this forms a nice thick sturdy piece. And then I have this thin rectangle. I'm going to thread it through the interior of my ring. I'm going to thread it through the center, the slot that's in the center of this octagon. I'm going to pull the tails away from one another on the underside. Put glue on both those tails and just glue them to the underside of that base. So now I'm putting glue all over the bottom of that piece and I'm adhering it to my lid piece. And then I have this purple embellishing piece. So I'm going to put putting glue on the underside all along that perimeter. So I'm trying to center this as best I can on the decorative piece. So then I have the lid of my lantern. So I'm covering the underside with glue. I'm gluing that purple piece to the lid of my lantern.